All right, next, man, we got... This fucking lighter sucks, dude. <laughs> we got Gangster Rap Raised. This. Somebody earlier said... I forget who, who said that they look Gangster Rap is their favorite one. So, for Gangster Rap, man, I think... um. They give me um what kind of vibes I feel. I feel about all the rappers and shit that you know rap about that fucking gangster life shit. Like it, oh, it was like that we raised up on it. We heard a lot about it, but it was up to you to be able to be like, yo, separate the two from each other. Like, all right, I could do the gangster rap and talk about references about being a gangster, but I can't go out here and live that life because if I rap about it, there's people that's really in the street. They get jealous. Like, yo, this nigga not really about that. Even though it's fire, they looking at it like, nah, I don't, I don't fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you guys are subscribing, getting on YouTube, dropping likes, man, I'm going over to Twitch, Rumble, all of that too as well as we getting into the next one. Gangster Rap Razor. So that's what we on, man. That's what we on, man. That's what we on, man. Just give me like a gigster type beat, bro. And Tom make all his beats, right? All our heroes were the gangsters, homie. Gangster rap raised us. Okay. We were out there yelling, fuck the police. Yeah. Gangster rap made us. Made Tell my mom, sorry, I was smoking pot. 14 bumping in pot. Pouring out a 40 for the homies in the parking lot. <laughs> you picked up our culture. That's the culture, bro. Gangster rap made you do that. Going to the parking lot, pour out liquor for your homies. Man, Come on, pot, uh, 14 bumping in pot, pouring out a 40 for the homies in the parking lot. Roll the windows down and turn it up. Drinking Hennessy and yelling, side, don't give a fuck. Yo, like streaming West Brown, not even on the West Side, but it was just that shit made you want to do that, made you want to be like them. Gangster rap was what made a lot of us even come together. And then you was like, after the gangster rap ever, it was like, bro. Now rap is just generic. I mean, they didn't have nothing they was even talking about anymore. All of it was played out, you know? Now they're doing drill rap, which is supposed to be, like, equal to gangster rap, but it's actually not. It's fucking worse. <laughs> Heroes were the gangsters, homie. And I swear to God, that's all we knew. Dr. Dre, Nate Dogg, and Snoop. Fell in love with rap before these rappers using auto-tune and buy the boom. Dropped out of school and copped the mic, hopped in the booth. All your favorite rappers got you fucked up taking pills, dog. All my mm. favorite rappers got locked up. Killed dog. All your favorite rappers. God damn, Tom. Run that motherfucker. Oh, man, that flow is fucking ridiculous, man. I like that. Give us more of this. Give us more of this. You're real, bro. You dropped out of school for all of this shit. And W.A. Fuck the police. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. Like, it just had everybody on that. It made everybody want to say fuck the police. But as you get older, you realize you need the police. So why would I want to defund them? Why would I want to defund the police? You know? Facts. Facts. Sure. Right. Yeah, my Miss Mom on Rumble said facts. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing but facts. Tune in by the boom. Dropped out of school and copped the mic, hopped in the, in the booth. booth. All your favorite rappers got you fucked up, taking pills, dog. All my favorite rappers got locked up, but Bro, they, they got, got killed, killed dog. All your favorite rappers wearing girl clothes, they fake your But we gonna be all right because gangster rap raised us. Mm. All I ain't got that thing on me, but I got them hands though. The vans mm. pull up, the man's jump out like Rambo. He okay. ran though. How can I be scared when I'm Thanos? Leave a lump on him like a camel, get handled. I, yeah. I grew up listening to it. the hardest bars, getting faded barbershops, arguing about knots and pop. 50 right. Biggie, Wayne, and Jay Bump. Out the trailer park, and Ooh. I seen the worst parts where you don't go after dark. Like, right. whoa, I ain't never been afraid. I was trained to go. Hold on, bro. I gotta go back. You know, this his lane. I just was saying he, he got the 2000 vibe that bring me back to when I was a kid. Like, I, I just was falling in love with the very side. Like, I didn't even realize, like, we know, but I got them hands though. though. He said, I don't got that thing. We all know he's talking about a gun, but he got some hands though. You're not going to want to throw a one-on-one -on -one fight. In this generation, the kids, they don't want to fight. 
They want to shoot. They want to kill. They rather go to jail for the rest of their life and say, "Yeah, I caught that body." Like video game reference type stuff. You know what I mean? I ain't got that thing on me, but, but I, I got, got them hands though. though. The vans pull up, the man jump out like Rambo. He mm, went- you talking about like when guys go out, they jump out there and they going crazy. Back in the day, gangster rappers were talking about hopping out and go against other gangsters that were on their corners or they had problems with. Women, kids were off limits. Gangsters, back in the day, 2000 street code was way completely different than what it is right now. Everything is on sale. Like Everything is up for grabs. If they hit somebody's child, nobody gives a fuck. They just assume, like, yo, it is what it is. Gangsters, they only went gangster for gangster. Rando, how can I be scared when I'm Thanos? Man, no. Leave a lump on them like a camel. Get no, in. Leave a lump on them like a camel. You know a camel bag? That thing is lumpy. So look, I grew up listening to the hardest bars, getting faded barbershops, arguing about knots and pie, 50 Biggie, Wayne and Jay, bumping out the trailer park. And, like, that's a lot of the culture that people talk about. You know, when you in a barbershop, you learn about sports, you learn about rappers. They always argued about Tupac, Nas, Biggie, and all the time in the barbershops and stuff. Like, who was the greatest? Who was better? Stuff like that. Who got the most gold to hit platinum and stuff like that. Then I seen the worst cars where you don't go after dog right, black uh, He's seen places where if you go around here, you're not supposed to go to at night because you will get robbed or you will become a victim of homicide. You know what I'm saying? There's places where you can't go here in Philly. You go there, you might not come back out, and they might not ever find you again. So it's like, if they could go to these certain places, they listen to this music, and this is the life that they were raised on. You can't tell somebody and be like, oh, you're not black, so you can't do this. You can't speak on that. You can't wear Tim's. Or, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter about none of that. You know what I'm saying? It's about what you raised on as culture, bro. You become a product of your environment, what you're listening to on a daily. But that doesn't mean you have to stay that way the rest of your life. But people are so used to being pinned inside of a box and this is what your life is. They believe this is all it is, you know? Let's keep it going. I ain't never been afraid. I was trained to go. Look how far I came. Why you hating on the low? Mm. Run him off the stage. Get him at his own show. Right. Ain't been the same since I came through the dough. We were 14 Ooh. listening to gangsters. For All right. corny little rappers came up. Yep. Warning, better keep your chain tucked. The they gonna take it. Nobody playing fake talk. Nope. We were 14 listening to gangsters. Uh, For these corny little rappers came, came up. up. Ain't no warning. Better keep your chain tough. There was a war, ain't nobody playing mm-hmm. fake tough. All our heroes were the oh, gangsters, gangsters homie. Gangster rap raised us. We were out there yelling, fuck the police. Gangster rap made us. All our heroes were the gangsters, homie. Yeah. Gangster rap raised us. Ad live in the back, dark ad live is fire. And that's how I'd be at the end of a. <laughs> That's how I be at the end of a motherfucking gangster motherfucking track too, yo. That was fire right there, man. That bring me back to like the two thousand era, man. The vibe right there, bro. Uh, like that was a great era, man. That gangster rap, sagging your pants and everything. But as you get older, bro, you realize, yo, what am I doing? You are supposed to change, man. You supposed to grow up. Like damn, that gangster rap phase is over. I can't be continuing to do this, but. Everybody to each his own. We don't judge over here, man. You know, let's move on. You know, Noah dropped a new one this year. I'm going to see if I could check it out. But boo, how long we been going? We for an hour. Let's see if I could probably check it out. I can see. I can see. I can see, man. Let's move on to the next one. That was fire. <laughs> Gangster rap raise the house. Was it good? Was it actually fire? I'm hopefully reacting to it tonight. Are you gonna react to it? Not you're not gonna wait till Thursday. We got black and white next. We already heard that, so we gonna definitely run through that real quick. We giving y'all some good content, man. We will split up the ones that we didn't get. Make sure you guys are subscribing to the YouTube channel, dropping a like. Um, we definitely did just get a new subscriber too. Where did it go? 
Shout out to Produce Worm. Appreciate you, man. We're moving on to 